Hey, so here's a problem in financial modeling that drives people nuts. Um, and here's a very technical solution to a very hard problem. Let's say you have a bunch of worksheets. Like you've got sheet one, and you've got some rent and NOI, and say so that's on line seven and eight. And then sheet two, and you've got rent and NOI, and that's on line four and five. And here it's on line eight and nine. And here it's on line 9 and 10. Adding that up across sheets would be unpleasant, right? You'd have to, like, either go to different lines each time, or you'd have to go to each sheet, have a new line, it's say, like, line 100, bring everything down to line 100 across all the sheets, and then add up across line 100. So you basically have two options, both of which are not pleasant. Either you got to go to different lines on each different sheets, or you got to go to each sheet and then bring everything down to a common line and sum across the common line. Again, neither are ideal. Is there a way to eliminate that process? There is, and this is my preferred way of doing it, and it's pretty darn amazing. So here goes. On this top level, I made a place where I write down the names of the sheets. Sheet two, sheet three, sheet four, sheet five. And you'll note there are a couple sheets called zero. The zero sheet has nothing in them. Uh, I called it zero because I thought that's a good name for a sheet with nothing in it, but you could call it empty if that makes you happy. Then I went to name manager and I created a named range called sheets which is linked to B6 to B11. In other words, whatever names of the sheets are here go into the named range called sheets. Okay, cool. And I realize people use name manager for all kinds of things, but this is one way to use name manager. Then there are two ways of doing this. There's the old way and the new way. The old way involved using some products and some ifs, which basically just makes me want to hit myself in the head. I'm not doing it the old way. And if you're using any version of Excel 2020 or later, basically if you've updated Excel within the last three years, you could ignore what you're currently seeing. The new way of doing it, the better way of doing it, is with a sum, sum if. So what this basically does is it's using an indirect function and a sum if and a sum. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about what this does, but if you just care about the solution, what it basically does when all is said and done is it adds up all of the rents across all of those sheets or all of the NOIs across all of the sheets. What it's doing mechanically, though, is it's saying, and I'll make this bigger in case people want to copy my work, it basically says, go to the name of the sheet, to column D, look for the word rent, and if you find the word rent in column D on the sheet, give me the answer that's in column E. It then sums all of those, right? Because that's what sum if does. It says if something's true, add it up. And then, since it's, if you just did sum if all of that stuff, you would get you know, 12, you'd get these answers, 12, 23, 50, 45, 0, 0. Now, what can I do with those six answers? I can sum the sum if, right? So this is the sum if indirect that gives me the six answers, and this is the thing where I sum across it. Now, you'll notice that down here, it's sheets 1 through 5, but up here I have sheets 2, 3, 4, 5, and a couple zeros. Basically, by doing that, I make the whole thing variable. If I want to have a few extra sheets that, if I only want to do two sheets, I make four of these things zero. And if I want to do sheet one, sheet three, sheet four, well, that's fine. It just gives me eight, 23, and 50, eight, 23, and 50, and it sums across those. You know, the secret to making this work is, if you might be possibly adding up five sheets, have 
six possible entries, right? And then just add a zero for the sixth one or add extra zeros if you have extra sheets that you don't want to be adding up. Uh, but that is a sum, sum if, indirect. I realize for some of you, this is way above your pay grade. For others, this has just solved an incredible amount of pain. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, and if you did, awesome. And if you didn't, because this is all new to you, start learning about indirects. It'll change your life. They're really amazing. Cool. Again, trying to just vary it up between the not technical and the super technical. Uh, hopefully you find that to be helpful. Um, and that's about it. See you next week. Be well.